Hello and welcome back. This video is about three password managers. Uh, one is KeePass and Bitwarden is the other one and Safe in Cloud. These are the three of my favorite password managers. They work excellent because they are this is cross-platform and the database is stored on the cloud, uh, example Dropbox or Google Drive, I use Dropbox. Bitwarden has its own cloud service uh, and so it just goes with you, you don't store it anywhere but you, it works like KeePass, KeePass is on the device. Uh, you can store it on uh, Dropbox, in Dropbox and use it that way. Uh, there are apps that you can use to pull it. Really good because it's always been free KeePass, most popular one and um, free as you can see and it's open source. Bitwarden is the same, it's open source. Uh, if I just go to Bitwarden, well let's go to this one. This is the Bitwarden uh, website and you can see free account Everyone should have a password to, uh, to security tools. The core features of uh, Bitwarden are 100% free, free forever, sync all devices, store unlimited items in your world, uh, secure password generator. Really like this, and it, it's £10 a month, a year, uh, UK equivalent of $10 a year, if you want to get the these features. Uh, as you can see and the family version is the same price but I would stick to this to get familiar with it if you're using it for private use as most people are this one um, again is excellent there's no subscriptions the only payment is, payment is, is for a lifetime as you can see uh, is for the mobile device but the desktop one is free and for Mac or Windows again cross-platform and the difference is safe in cloud allows you to use attach use attachments and um, in the notes section so you have a username password a URL and then you can add notes or attachments uh, provided they are certain size uh, the free version, uh, this is the paid version, this one doesn't allow it unless you get the premium version and also it doesn't work very well. There is a way around it to use the one-time passcode which Saving Cloud does if you have a paid version and so you can have two-step verification for wherever you use it, say for example Facebook, if you set up two-step you can use it there. Uh, key pass you can do the same, it's open source, but there are plugins you need to get hold of. And I have made videos on this before. Um, this video is really regarding, I'll just pause the video for a second. So you can see I've typed in uh, the search import Bitwarden into KeePass and you had all these hits and there's a lot of discussion on how to do it. But if you look at some of them, uh, for example, this one, it doesn't answer the question in terms of I want to import what I've just done um, into Bitwarden and whether it's possible to uh, do that. So, you know, but you can do it, you know, if you were to do it, you can't do it. But in Keepers XC, you, if you, uh, and the other thing is you need to avoid uh, either folders or labels uh, in safe in cloud you have you have labels which are these uh, they're easy to find uh, in safe in cloud but really the search is very fast so if you search for your entry like example if you type in FA Facebook FSE it'll come up straight away you don't need a label it's only for convenience but when you export uh, the database and import it into Bitwarden or KeePass, really KeePass, then the folders, um, you know, the, the folders appear um, 
all over the place here. So they don't match. They're, they're grouped into uh, the database and then you f find lots of folders. And it's a pain to delete each one. Um, but in Keepos XE, you can drag the folder into uh, the recycle bin, provided it's empty and you've transferred everything into the root or source and uh, that uh, uh, in the group. And in Bitwarden, um, you have to, again, you, there's no way of deleting folders. You have to do it individually. Uh, I haven't, I've not found the answer on the net. Uh, you can't uh, multi-folder delete, uh, but you have to do it individually. So it becomes a fade. So really best to avoid folders or labels. And um, yeah, let me know how you feel. I mean, I can't make a real live video. If I get a chance, I will. But I thought I'll make a quick video to remind me in summary how to do a backup of safe in cloud. Uh, by exporting the XML file and then in Windows open the key pass and delete all entries uh, check that you have the S uh, Saving Cloud plugin to import the XML file into key pass uh, using that plugin then you save the database and all your entries that you exported in Saving Cloud you don't have to do the work appear in key pass then check in key pass if you want the icons uh, of the individual URLs to come from the web automatically by enabling DuckDuckGo in security to download all the icons. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and bye for now.